So uh, for resources for this event, uh, e coaches and event supervisors can always go to the, and anybody else, everybody can see what's there. Uh, there's no, no hidden resources here. Um, there is a, um, a section that are, that have materials that, uh, would be of benefit to coaches and super event supervisors to either use, uh, for their teams, uh, for their, to develop their competition to help their teams. And they are all, all located in that section. Uh, we've been doing a lot of work in updating, cleaning out, rearranging, uh, adding new resources to these sites. So if you go to that site and look and see, there might be some resources from a previous year's competition that would be helpful for this year's, uh, the upcoming competition for 2017. There are sample tests here. There are annotated tests here. There are tests that have been developed that actually, it, it, it's a test that was put together that would be, for instance, a representative of a state test, but all the way through in red, it, we have described exactly why we wrote those questions, how they follow the intent of the event description, how they cover all the deep sky objects and, and all the content and how they're related together in creating questions that have one and two and three steps in their process because this is not a memorization event. You have to synthesize information from images and HI diagrams and light curves and analyze them and put them all together to determine the answers. Uh, the Chandra uh, website can, has a section on stellar evolution that we're working on uh, cleaning up and improving uh, as we speak. The, but it has a self-guided tour. Using that stellar evolution graphic, you can have a self-guided tour uh, for those of you just learning uh, the basics of stellar evolution that might not have done this before. Uh, and as you move your mouse over the graphic, uh, it will tell you what each one of those objects is. When you click on it, it will describe what it is. It will take you to an actual object in, in the photo album, and it also shows you where in the evolutionary sequence that particular object is. There are flash versions. There are card sets you can request. There are web quests. Uh, there is a plethora of stellar evolution materials on the Chandra website. I have just put together a brand new card set for the Stellar Evolution website. Now, this card set was developed specifically with Science Olympiad in mind. This is going to replace the other sets. The Stellar, those of you who are familiar with the card sets, I believe we are now out of the Stellar Cycle set. I think there's almost no Cosmic Connection card sets left, maybe one or two hundred. Um, they will still be on the website for you to, you can download them and print out your own sets if you want to, but I'm not sure yet of the status of being able to produce those. We just cannot produce a gazillion card sets, um, budgets being what they are now, very much downsized. So, but this one can be used for all of the investigations and activities on the website. And I will be redoing uh, some things so that they will match better. But this set is uh, available for you to, you can request, not classroom sets, please, but request one or two sets for you to use for your teams. And I am actually going to be, when I go to coaches clinics, I will be handing some of these out. Uh, we've started with an X amount of them to go through the rest of the year and see how well they work before we order any more. And so please feel free. I am going to develop some flashcard sets, both for Reach for the Stars, Deep Sky Objects, multi-wavelength images, and for the Deep Sky Objects for the Astronomy event, multi-wavelength images that can be added to this set uh, to put them in sequence as a stellar evolution, not only using this card set, but every single year, the deep sky objects that are the focus of that particular year's event. So I will be putting together webinars on how to do this and how to use them. This is specifically for 
Stella Revolution 101 for you coaches out there that I keep meeting who are terrified of Stella Revolution and don't think you can do it and it's so difficult and I am going to show you that it's actually a whole heck of a lot of fun and you really do not need to be afraid of it. Um, in the past, we have had as a, as, as a resource, as something to use, is DS9. And several years ago, we used screenshots from DS9 to ask questions about Stellar Revolution. And you could, you could download DS9 as a toolbox onto your desktop and uh, access the servers, either at Rutgers or at SAO in Cambridge, Mass., and, and use the software and use the same analysis tools that the scientists use to analyze the Chandra data. Um, but, you know, you, but it's, it's impossible to actually use it in any kind of a competition venue because we all know what happens when you try that. Uh, the internet will go down. Uh, things will crash. Bad things happen. But we can still do it with screenshots. Now, it's being reformatted. I'm so excited about this. Are we ready yet? No, I haven't talked to the people working on this yet. But DS9 is being transitioned into JS9. It is now going to be browser-based with embedded web pages. You will be able to do analysis with Chandra data on your phone, on your smartphone, on your iPad, on your tablet. Um, so I'm thinking that I, I don't, that you can actually go do a search, JS9. Uh, it will take you to this website. You can play around with what little bit they, what they have there now. This is still a beta version. They're still working on adding analysis tools. Um, they have a, a little bit. You can do some things that you could do in DS9, you know, bias and contrast and, and, and some of those simpler things. Spectrum, you can do a spectrum plot. It's way cool because a minute you click on an area, up pops that spectrum. And when you click here, in a different spot, poof, up it plots. I mean, it's just instantaneous. It's, it's wonderful. But, of course, there's still a lot of details to work out. There might possibly be one question on the 2017 event, depending upon how the progress is being made with this. But it will be screenshots, and it would be a question that you would not even have had to have used JS9 to even answer the question. So it might be just a little test way to get started on trying to, to insert JS9 into the competition. So uh, if you have the, um, the coach's manual for astronomy, um, if you have that, it's on sale, I can't remember, $16, $18, at uh, the National Science Olympiad store, on their store, it has all the basic stellar evolution stuff on there, uh, the math, variable stars, it, it's 210 pages. Um, all of the older events are on there also. Uh, there are a lot of investigations on there. Some of them are beta ones that I never did finish to get on the Chandra website yet. Um, and they're on there. There's a plethora of information and resources on that CD for you. Um, and I will be adding to it in the next couple of years. I want to add a section on galaxies. Yes, galaxies will be a content focus not too far into the future. Uh, and maybe exoplanets because we may rotate around to those after a bit too. Uh, also, the test packet. For 2013 contains the uh, astronomy event for 2012, and that was the last time that the content focus was stellar revolution and type 1a supernova events. So even if you just looked at it to get a feel for the kinds of questions that are asked in the format, if you're not familiar with the format for this event yet, uh, please stick to the resources that are listed in the event description, because we know it's a really a wide, wide, wild west internet out there, and you can get led astray very, very easily. In um, I have a hard time sometimes. That's why I add links that I think might be helpful for you to the PowerPoint slide set, um, because sometimes I I get lost and I'm is this writer. 
what did they say and trying to determine if if the information is accurate and not outdated and up to date that's the biggest problem we have in astronomy because really we are trying to learn about the entire universe and there is so much information and that information is increasing at actually it is an astronomical rate so it's changing all the time and it's pretty hard to keep up uh, so take everything i say as sort of we think at the moment could be possibly theoretically we think it has been observed but make sure you always put those however's in there so stick to these websites uh, chandra hubble uh, apod is a great place to go to start with to plug in uh, deep sky object and see what comes up because they will give you every uh, popular uh, important scientific press release image that there is for that particular object so you'll see it right there in, in different wavelengths for sure uh, Spitzer, radio, all of those are great resources.